In this video, we'll look at an introductory power series. And we'll get at the idea that a function that does not look like a polynomial might be expressible as a power series. That is, non-polynomial functions can often be written as infinite polynomials. And the power series we're going to look at is very simple to write down. The sum from zero to infinity of x to the power of n. So one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on. And let's ask the question, does this power series converge? And the answer is that it depends on x and that for any fixed x, this series is a geometric. Like if x equaled one half, then this series would be one plus one half plus one fourth plus one eighth. It would be a geometric series with r equals one half. And because one half is less than one, this geometric series converges. So, this series is geometric with x in for r. It converges when x is less than one in absolute value. What? Does it converge to? Unusually, we have a formula for that. It converges to our initial value, one divided by one minus r. Well, in this case, x is playing the role of r. So this infinite series is converging to this rational expression, but it's only doing that when the absolute value of x is less than one. Let's take a look at this graphically. Here's one over one minus x, this curve. And the absolute value of x is less than one in this interval between these dashed lines. And in this interval, the series x to the power of n, the power series, is supposed to converge to this curve. Does that happen? Well, let's look at some partial sums. 
one plus x. Does it look very much like the curve so far? But let's keep going. Plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth plus x to the fifth. You see, in this region, this fifth degree polynomial looks a lot like this rational expression. And the more terms we add, the better this approximation gets. Here it is with 10, um, with a degree 10 approximation. You can see it's very good in here. It's a pretty good approximation up here. Still not a great approximation around here. But remember, n is going to infinity. So this partial sum, I paused and went up to 20. 20 is obviously still quite a small number compared to infinity. If I had the patience to type in a hundred terms or a thousand terms, the approximation would improve here as well. On the other hand, if you look what's happening not between negative one and one, if you look at what's happening over here, you see that, that's most, there you go, you see that this um, curve, this S sub 20 partial sum looks absolutely nothing like one divided by one plus X. This partial sum is converging to this, but only in this interval from negative one to one. That will lead us into our next topic and our next video, the radius of convergence.